Beg your pardon there, Jimmy. <clears throat> you know. That's the ignorance. You see, that's the Stabon man coming that's out. That's the Stabon man. You see, when you go for the bread, you think you're better, but you're not, you know. <laughs> I, I heard a wild, funny story um, a couple of weeks ago. I don't know who it was telling me, but they were saying that um, that the seat of power in Donegal used to be in Stabon. Believe it or not. Oh, I've no doubt about that. And uh, they then when we didn't when, want it, then when when, when the six counties were divided out from Ireland, Boo and all that, mm. they decided to move the seat of power out of Strabane and move it to Letterkenny. Right. So they loaded all the documents on a, a cart, took a donkey, and away they went with this, all the documents and all. Only the one donkey. Yeah. Only the one donkey. Then the donkey died in Lufford. So they decided, you know what, that's far Good enough. Good enough. So. <laughs> no backup donkey. There's no backup donkey. There's a you know, a sin- singular donkey. <laughs> well, we were glad to get rid of them, to be honest with well, you. We no. didn't want to. Too many seats there. Ah, the too many. It's all your tongue. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a fa- it's the capital of Donegal. That's, you know, it's, it's, Aye, it's a fact. No, no. Well, there'll uh, be some uh, debate tonight. Uh, we were we'll talking about Letter Kenny and Donegal Town, but... <laughs> no, we were down in the capital on um, on well, Friday, Friday night. night. We were down in Tanya. Class. We were on there not so long ago. We got 11 day late, scared out of us. There's another big boy there just jumped oh, out of us. Okay. <laughs> that monster. Jesus. We tried to keep him locked away yeah. because he, he scared people. He didn't do a people. good job. He, <laughs> he scared us, didn't he? Let me tell you. He was a tight team down the cells there. Aye. We were down. We were down. Uh, I, I'd been there a couple of weeks prior to it. We worked, you know. And uh, I, I wouldn't have known. Uh, when he walked on, uh, right enough, he, he looked apart and I said, well, she has no taste of skipping this, you see. But he was doing the, he was doing this thing. And I said, this boy looks like Maxwell here, you know. So I let him go on and on. And then they said, who you are? And she said, I and who you were. But the crack was good. Now, uh, yeah, sure but it was a great night on Friday night. Tanya McCall, we'll get a chat about that after, but she was just amazing. Uh, have, you been on the, have you been on the venue? We have. I, I, we've never seen any uh, music there now. We're in for a, f- a few meals, but uh, a fantastic place. Oh, they're doing a good job down there. It looks really well, and uh, it's a good setup. It's, it's brilliant, and a good team in there, which is important. They haven't paid us for any of this, but we will be happy to take money if they want to at a later date for saying that it was good. That's okay. Their desserts are meant to be top class. Aye. They are. We don't, we don't again, take... We'll, take... we'll take cash for that. Oh, we take it. Me and Jimmy take cash, but it has been an envelope. Aye, aye, one number. of those. Like, well, no, well, it doesn't matter to me. They can, no. they can provide it any way they want. It's just, it's a great place to be. You of know, course, there you go. That's another... Of course it you know, is. They can use that. Well, come here. Uh, yourselves, uh, you, do you sing together, or is this a new thing you're just coming up here tonight, or what way does it work, Bryn? I tell you, we, we've, we would mess around, you know, at, at family events and of course. parties and things like that. We'd uh, always have a good old sing song that way. Uh-huh. But we never actually sat down, you know, and, and did a, a, a duet together properly. Uh-huh. Um, now, we're probably going to make a wee tear at, uh, at some stage this year before mm-hmm. Christmas. We have uh-huh. a we have a gig or two lined up there. Good stuff. So uh, we'll give it a go anyway and see how we get on. And well, I tell you, you've got an absolutely beautiful emerald there. I see you, so we're talking with the main man oh, there too. Oh, we were talking on Friday yeah. night. Yeah. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's a great success story. It's, oh, it's fantastic. Just, but they're, 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 uh, they're just... Uh, Great people, ah, really, people. really, Jeez. you so know, down to earth. Oh, yeah. the crack was good now, and I, I always love going down. And uh, Alistair's coming up, and we're doing a, an Emerald Night shortly, Joey. Yeah. We were in discussions oh, we'll with that. that. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, I was talking to him about it. <laughs> he has a, 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 a now there's a proper name for this ukulele, but it's, there's another part on the top of it. <laughs> but he, I forget the name of it now, my ignorance. But I said to him, Do you want to be doing a, a, a uke? Do a uke? And make a, a and he said they're talking about it at the minute. So I would love to get my hands on one of them. I, I got an X twenty myself a week, right. like years ago, and it's just an absolute <coughs> masterpiece. Of oh, the, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Great to play, Bryn. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah. I, I went for the at the time. I was uh, had a big notion of twelve strings, and I went down and I just had my heart set in the twelve strings. So I went down and and. And, and met the team in there and they guided me through it and took me up and sh- they were making this one as I was in looking for it and it was just good timing. Isn't it great to see that? But Fantastic. I was uh, in the workshop and everything uh, and they, they had this this very guitar up in the stand they were making away. It was just brilliant to see it. Eh? Good, yeah. Great story. Fantastic. Right, we're going to go into a song first. I'll give you a first song. It's, it's a, a song my father used to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, was, I think it was done by the Corries maybe. Originally, um, it was called Laddie Daddy Dum, or uh-huh. Laddie Dum, and it's all about a, a young man uh, with a very, very, very long nose. Yes, that's and it got him into situations and handlings all throughout his life. And they reckon my father used to say his nose was as long as the dual carriageway. <laughs> very I, good. I don't know how true that is, but that's sure. Good enough. Take what you want from it. We're looking anyway, forward to this. We'll give it a go. 
on the 17th of March. La di da di da, a son was born to Mrs. Daddy Tom. He two arms, two legs, a mouth and ears and eyes, and your usual la di da di da di dum. They duly christened him la di da di da. They gave a second name as Daddy Tom. Throughout his life and lived for 90 years, he was known as la di da di da di dum. As he grew up, his la di da di da grew quicker than his other da di dum. When he was 18, everyone remarked on his great big la di da di da di dum. Still his nose, yeah? Still nose. He met a girl at la di da di da. She was pretty though a little da di dum. The reason not he loved her best was she didn't he mind his la di da di da di dum. <coughs> her mother was softly la di da di da. Her father was completely da di dum. He sat down to dinner of salmon mayonnaise and a bowl of la di da di da di dum. It all went well till la di da di da He meant to take a bite of da di dum He coped his plate of salmon mayonnaise Upon his la di da di da di dum Her mother cried loudly La di da di da Her father sort of mumbled da di dum Her mother said Try to find a boy with a smaller la di da di da di dum. And so they decided la di da di da to use two single beds for da di dum. They slept together and used the other one just to rest his big la di da di dum. On the 19th of June, la di da di da, he took ill with an attack of da di dum. They wrapped him up in bandages that tended in a bow round his la di da di da di da di dum. He died in the morning of la di da di da, a victim of the dreaded da di dum. They put him in his coffin. Couldn't he shut the lid for his great big la di da di da di dum? The undertaker, la di da di da, decided on a plan for da di dum. He made another coffin, roughly three foot two by one, just to hold his la di da di da di dum. Now you can read. On his tombstone. La di da di da. Oh, the son of La di da di da di dum. Well, here lies his body, but in the next grave of but one lies his. Well done. Definitely about his nose now. Well, well done. Nose. Come here, brilliant. Uh, the, the apple doesn't fall from the tree because, uh, you know, if I close my eyes, I can hear your father's voice. Oh, yeah, definitely. I agree. Uh, I agree 100%. You know, um, was music in the house uh, uh, around you? So we were tortured with it. Like, uh, we were tortured with it. Uh, in a good way. In a good way, of course. I'm sure he was always trying to, to, uh, to get us playing when he was alive, you know. Yep. Uh, none of us none of us really went for it at all, but then when he when he died, so we all kind of put it a bit with it then. Uh, would you have been up here with him? Oh, Jimmy would have been up most days. I was, up, I was mm-hmm. up every Monday night in particular. Uh, I would up, be up here every Monday night um, uh, and, and any other nights I could get away with. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember well, there was, a, there was a great time he had... He would always have... 
you know, every now and again he would pull something crazy out of the bag. Uh-huh. And uh, one night there was... No more know, so than yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stuff from South here now. <laughs> but that was, that was, sorry for... No, no, fire away. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, that was cutting the age stuff. Mm. Radio, uh, you know, here, it was breaking... Uh, he had, he had what people wanted. He had just, and it was natural. Yeah, Aye. there was no put on. There was no. It was natural. Ah, oh, Christ! You know what I mean? Uh, what you're saying? Yeah, there was the uh, group. I, I can't remember what they were. They had some sort of uh, uniforms on them. They were like a big brass band, but there was fifty or sixty people all playing musicians, and they were everywhere. <laughs> they were here. They were out in the halls. They were. Everywhere, mm-hmm. the kitchen and, and the kitchen, mm-hmm. never. And now I don't know what Highland Radio is like now, but I know back then there was a severe rationing of cups. Uh. There was probably six usable cups in that kitchen. Uh, well, and, still, and something I was, never changed. I was scratching my head because Dad had to get a cup of tea. Uh. That was inevitable. If he wouldn't uh. work without his tea, that uh. was a strict, uh. strict law on him. So that left me with five cups to try and provide 70 people, and uh, it, it didn't work at all. No, logistically, no. Logistically, it was a, it was there, was, a there was a severe cup but he, issue. But he, he had, an, uh, it's important to, to mention him, like, and just in case anybody's listening, I don't think anybody's listening that doesn't know who I'm talking about. Of course, we're talking about our, our, our artist friend, the, the legend, was Brendan Maxwell. He, I remember my first time going on, to hear him, and I remember going to the Pat Holmes to band. I can't remember what I took the stairs and I looked. It was play. It was a stout, stout, stout yeah. And I swore it was fun by a fury mm. from the back. Do you know what I mean? Mm. When, uh, back in the day, and I, Jesus, this boy just blew me away. Absolutely, never heard tell him before that. Mm. But I followed him then, and uh, I just loved his style. Mm. I loved his whole. He was unique. Did he write any songs? Well, there was a few there. I mean. Yeah, yeah, there was a couple of there was there was poems and stuff, mm. uh, um, but never no. He, he, he enjoyed the performing art more than anything else. I think rather mm. than anything else, it was performing. It was uh, you know between the radio and the live stuff that he did. That's what he loved most than anything else. Did he what did he did he work at anything else? In his life? Uh, he was a digger driver for many years. Was he? Uh, I think he electrocuted him once himself, <laughs> once or twice. As you do. Um, <laughs> uh, That's where all the cars came from. <laughs> That's where all the cars came from. But uh, he was a digger driver for a long time. And, yeah. and, Never knew uh, that, man. Uh, he was, uh, I, that, I know that's what he was at. Oh, many, many moons ago, but sure, uh-huh. as far as we knew him, he was always a musician, uh-huh. and uh, he was on the radio. And uh, uh-huh. you know, when he came on here, like in the when this place opened in 1990, uh-huh. he was one of the main boys on it he, uh, when he the, came out. You could have sat in the house in them days, you know. And I remember sort of like I, you know, radio was my my love from growing uh-huh. up, and this was just something. This is groundbreaking stuff. You know, you heard somebody with a local voice mm. on, on local radio. You know, you didn't hear because you had RTs and stuff and yeah. a request played, you were lucky. You mm-hmm. didn't get your town land mentioned. But I remember sitting listening nights, you know, uh, lying in my bed and the radio on, just and this uniqueness. Mm-hmm. Rough, raw, just random. the way you want it. <laughs> uh, random. That's random. Right. <laughs> but, and that's a good thing about it because you... Well, what are they going to say what's, next? What's he going to say next? Quite. Brilliant stuff, brilliant. <laughs> We're going to talk more to the Maxwell Brothers and Studio. We're going to take a quick ad break. Don't dare go away. Buying or moving home can be a strange mixture of excitement and stress. So the last thing you need is worrying about conveyancing. Time to call McElhenney and Associates. They'll move that property transaction along swiftly, make sure everything's in order, and prevent any nasty surprises. Residential, commercial, leasing, or voluntary transfer. Call today on 074 917 5989 or find us online. We'll do the paperwork, you do the wallpaper. McElhenney and Associates Solicitors Stranorler. How can we help? The new Corolla Hybrid Electric range is here, and the Corolla Cross SUV is the latest addition to the iconic family. Spacious and beautifully designed, it's perfect for growing families everywhere, and it's available to order now at Kelly's Toyota Letterkenny and Mount Charles. With exceptional electric drive time and no plugging in, the next generation is ready to take over. See the new Corolla Cross today at Kelly's Toyota Letterkenny and Mount Charles. Toyota, built for a better world. Terms and conditions apply. 
Homeowners, it's time to unlock incredible savings on your energy bills. Efficient Renewables is here to reduce your energy consumption, say goodbye to skyrocketing costs and hello to renewable energy solutions. With no VAT on solar panels and the generous grants for both solar panels and heat pumps, see these innovative systems in action in our state-of-the-art showroom in Newton Cunningham today. Contact Efficient Renewables on 074 97 The life of a Charlie's chip is never dull. Once they're selected, they're off to Charlie's, where they lose the jacket, have a nice wash, and once they get into shape and get ready, out they go to meet the public, side by side with a nice burger, some fish or chicken. Enjoy Charlie's chips to sit in or take away daily from 12 to 8 at Pierce Road, Letterkenny. When the hunger hits, pull into Charlie's. Join us, the Elusive Theatre Group, to celebrate being 100 as part of the Cathedral Quarter Letterkenny Literary Festival. We have recorded two plays, Moving Out and A Garden Party. Moving Out will broadcast this Wednesday at 8pm, followed by A Garden Party on Wednesday the 18th. We'd love to have you tune in.
say goodbye. No, there won't be time to share our love. For we must say Jimmy, thank you brilliant, very much. Brilliant, yeah. love that song to bits. Uh, yeah. If you yeah. just tuned in, the <coughs> Maxwell boys are in town. Uh, if you just tuned in, that's not cats, that's Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> Jimmy is right. <laughs> Hello from the USA, it's from Deanna. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. Terry McHugh, to you. Um, aspirations. Good stuff, Paul. My word, Terry Hooley. He was my manager in the mid-60s. Ten bob a gig then at Sammy Houston's. <laughs> Ten bob a gig. And uh, good evening, boys. Uh, Paul and Jimmy and everyone tuned in from Gorton in Oma from Catherine. Thank you, Catherine oh. and Kathleen McLaughlin. Just love listening to Brendan uh, and Jimmy on Highland. Uh, Brendan on Highland missed very much. I beg your pardon. Aye. And Audrey Nillis. Hi, Paul and Jimmy. Hi, Audrey. And Jonathan Stewart. Fair play, lads. Hey, Good Johnny. singing. Well Jimmy. Played, very, very good of you to bring Brandon too. <laughs> <laughs> he takes me out there on time, so he goes, uh, there it is now. Bring yeah. him out of the house, get a bit of air. Uh, Kieran O'Dowd, cr- class stuff, lads. And Mark, oh, thanks, Kieran. Mark Gormley says, go on the Maxwell. Go on, <laughs> go on Mark. Go on that cookie. The, uh, I'm wishing Brandon and Jimmy every success from Charlie and Bree Jean. Ah, fair play, oh, Charlie and um, Bree Jean. Molly Callan said... Uh, Good luck and hello to the Maxwell boy. Thanks a million, Molly. Fair play. Have you recorded anything ever? Jimmy is too. I, uh, you 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 had uh, uh, twinkle fingers in here last week because I used to call Eamon Karen. Eamon, I was I. up at his studio a couple of times, did some stuff. Uh, man, what a man can't play in the piano, can't oh, be played. Oh, what a chap. He man. is an absolute delight. He, he, you haven't heard his album? His new album. I've, I've well, heard it. Um, he's he says, and he sits. I sat down with him and I said, "This is what I want to do." And he goes, "Right, okay, uh, uh, sing it to me again." Yeah, yeah. Brrr, and away uh, he went. Uh, and I, he's just. He's a serious talent. He's a natural, absolutely. Brendan, are you still working? You were fitting out for McCafferty. Is he still that carry on? Ah, he's still at it. I'm actually away. We're away now for Dublin Airport tonight now. Uh, no way. We're three o'clock heading for London. We're starting a new one there in Harrow. So we'll start tomorrow morning. Just gotten it out, Brendan. Well, there was uh, there was a gang in there before me and they did all the dirty work and... You do the fancy stuff? Uh, well, I don't, do yeah. that. I don't do anything in particular. <laughs> That's what they'll all do. Are you joined or betrayed? No, I'm not. No, no, no. He's a pointer. I'm a pointer. You know, that's, I'm a pointer. That's, pointer. that's the best way to be. <laughs> How long have you been doing that work? God, I'm with uh, McCafferty's now. Um, 2016, I would say. November 2016. So oh. since then, uh, just... And they're all around the place? Oh, non-stop. Non-stop. We just finished one there in Dublin. Uh, mm. It used to be the barge. Um, so the, the official opening night there uh, on Friday night past, George Murphy and the Raising Sons played at it. Oh, great, we know George. Uh, a great night, great night's crack. So great fella. That's, that's that done, and uh, like I said, now on to on to London for the next one. So I have, there, the, have the guitars into over there. So I'll be do, I'll be doing a couple of gigs when I'm over there as well. It's tough. So uh, you were were you in Dubai? I was out in Dubai. Yes, uh, we did uh, two or three pubs out there. We did one in Abu Dhabi as well. And come here, you were uh, were you gigging when you were there as well, or were you just having the crack? I didn't. Uh, oh, there was no crack in it. No, it was all work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just in case he's last done. Are we live? Are we? Oh, no. Jesus. It was all flat out. <laughs> flat out. Never. Never a day off. <laughs> no, I, I didn't do any gigs out there. No, I, I, I got up and sung a few times, but I didn't take the guitar with me. Um, but no, I gigged, gigged away any time. I was gigging away in Dublin and um, uh, when we were in England too. And, Excellent. Uh, but, uh, it's, it's handy. Good to hear Jimmy and Brandon from Eamon O'Connor. Thank you, Eamon. Yes, well, Eamon. You, you know, Eamon, Eamon, Eamon taught me how to play the guitar. Is that right? Uh, yeah, Eamon, oh. mighty man. Fair play, yeah. lads. Came it up. One of, the, one of James Curry's colleagues. That says there. Oh. One of my one of my <laughs> colleagues that I work with. Uh, where are you at? Just what do you work at yourself? Jimmy? I work in Curry's here in the town. Uh, work's such a strong word though. And but remember, we're live again. Oh yeah, we're flat Curry's, uh, Curry's and Curry's and Letter Kenny here. Oh Easy yes, that one. I, oh, I know the one you're talking about. I, work is right. Work, work. work. I'm I'm never I, ne- I never stop. I don't know why you had the time to come up here. Uh, I, uh, we were lucky to get you. That's it. <laughs> Pencil done. <laughs> Uh, Veronica Elliott says, well done, guys. Mark ah, Bates says, right. Thanks, Mark Bates says, well done, lads. Long time since I've seen you from school. Good man, Mark. And Kieran O'Dowd, are the boys playing live at the rugby club 50th celebrations next weekend? 
Ah, they can't afford it. Can't <laughs> afford the <laughs> Hoovers. No. It was either Andrew Gibson or us. And you can Andrew Gibson. Kenny yeah, Rugby Club says, Brennan has often left at the roof of the clubhouse. He'll be down on the 21st October for our anniversary hooli. Plenty of sense to be had there. <laughs> <laughs> are you a letter Kenny Rugby man, are you? I will. I will. I will. I did underage there from when I was 15 or 16 and uh-huh. played right up through, but I haven't played in years now. It's you play, stuff now. You played underage to your 30. Uh, <laughs> I'm still playing under 16. So. <laughs> they haven't twigged it yet. Yeah. <laughs> Isabel Boyle says, Well done, boys. Your daddy would be so proud to keep up the tradition oh, of music you. in the family. Thank John, you very much. John Griffin uh, said, yeah, you're, man, you're some chippy, Bryn Maxwell. <laughs> Only I would use another word there, but aye, we'll go with Chippy. Chippy, 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 dead on. Chippy or gangster. But anyway, <laughs> the the uh, the the music scene uh, would be pretty much changed now a lot. The whole landscape in your father's time, but he would still be plodding away at it. I think so. Uh, I, I think I th- he would. I think you know he, he he always had his finger on the pulse. He was and. Uh, he changed. Uh, he was adapting with the times. Even you know, before he passed away, he was kind of moving away from the folk and ballad stuff, and Aye. he was moving on with the country scene then. And, Aye, yeah, you're right. You know, I think I think he would have. You said it before. He would have been a great man. You know, on the he would have been a great podcast or, man. Uh, yeah. Could you Preserve. imagine him on a podcast? Aye, I could. some some job. Will you see? You know what? He's right up there with you, Slick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, would I tell you, Bren? All due respect and respect for its due. He was something else. He was unique. We're winging it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But he was winging it in a way that you thought it was slick. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, but he was, he was cutting edge. And I'm not just saying that. I mean, uh, there's a great video on YouTube of, of uh, Packy Keeney had it up at the outside broadcast. Now, like you're talking that length like, time, and Michael Honey's. Right. Michael mm. Honey's house. I see that one, well, actually. Yeah. Jesus, no. up there. Uh, uh, it's an hour and something long. Right. Yeah, I remember it. Uh, it's, it's on YouTube. Oh, I think you'll, I was you'll there. Oh, most, most, most. Well, you, you'll see it there. And it's, it's, it's Great spurt. thing to have. Eh? Mm. We, we, we're so lucky in that sense, uh, you know, that we can see these things. Uh, well, that, that's up there. You just type it in and you'll see he it. He did a it. Halloween broadcast here. Oh, I know. And fooled a whole lot of people into thinking he, he was in a haunted house. Uh, I and remember that. There, the signal went went off halfway through it uh, and there's people ringing the guards uh, thinking that these boys were caught in a haunted house and they were all sitting up here uh-huh. I don't know I, that I think Aidan Murphy was involved in that too oh no what do you think yourself uh, well, do, do you know that that time I thought it was a haunted house <laughs> I, I generally thought it's about you know and it, it, like that's that's how and you know you know you can go on the internet and you get these effects and all mm. they would have been pretty hard to dig up and you know create <laughs> yeah. and so you had to have a creative mind but then again uh, Packy Keeney was with them and they were really, yeah, really gang of guys ah yeah. they are really rustrous I just stuff. see when, you, when you're saying about that I remember remember you used to do uh, What's in the Plastic Bag mm. you remember too, yeah. I remember him running around the house like when we were younger opening the press and I always headed for the medicine press it was always a great press to go down uh-huh. shaking things around that'll loot and uh-huh. the bag <laughs> That's how it was worked out. What's in the plastic bag? What a good everybody got. You know, everybody was yeah. everybody was just ah uh, and awful, from you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, his music and his memories, of course, mm. for yourselves. Right, uh, we're going to. Uh, are you gigging? You, you talked about gigging over Christmas. Is that are you open for bookings here? If anybody wants you, or well, you're 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 away now. See, you my problem is I'm going to be away now till probably the first week in December, and then I think I think when I'm back, then we're in. Where the two of us are to play in McCready's bar and let your let your make a word. Is that the seventeenth of December? Seventeenth of December. I was told, so. not 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 asked. <laughs> told. Yeah, I was informed. That's good enough. Yeah. But, well, uh, yeah. somewhere in between that, sure, God knows what we'll we'll right. end up with. But uh, well, sure, it's about a crack. Mm. There, there he is now. Oh, glory, glory, man, you know. Oh, it's a long time. Come on, on here, Murphy. Oh, come on, oh, just the coat's off. The oh, coat's off. Oh, We're in ball here now. Come on, tell on. him he's not allowed to bring them boxing gloves on. <laughs> no, do not. Leave them boxing gloves outside. Oh, lads. And then, uh, and, then, <laughs> and then boxer shorts. Well, Sit down there. Pull, sorry. pull sorry. one of them. Well, pull one of them chairs. Well, up. The, the, none the, of these two are plugged in. Ah. So, you know, it off. Do you know? Sitting on them new seats that nobody can sit on. <laughs> the worst. How, how, yeah, how you the do f- the next one, will you? Oh, how, sure, how's right. the form of you? Oh, you blow it. <laughs> Come here, we're just chatting and we're chatting. You, there's no better man than yourself would have been here from day one along with Brennan. Yes. And uh, 
you've very fond memories because I know you, you hold them very, very dearly absolutely, to your heart. Absolutely. And, and you, know you play them. You were singing Laddie Daddy Dumb, come down, and the tears were blinding me. And, uh, uh, to be honest uh, with you, uh, tears were blinding me. I thought they were good. <laughs> Jeez, I thought they'd done all right, but sorry, we did. We go back to the drawing board. Maybe we'll go for an ad. <laughs> we were down doing a festival one time, Brenton and myself, God rest them, and um, we were the special guests. I was doing a bit of comedy, Brand was doing a bit of singing, and we had uh, ugliest woman in Ireland oh, out at, the, at, at the time. <laughs> So anyway, the, the part of the festival activities was who could eat the most cream crackers in three minutes. <laughs> so so oh, the whole festival in this hall and locked down the year, and we're all and there's two in the final, <laughs> Ma- Maxwell and Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to get uh, well. We were doing well. We had he had as many he could eat in two minutes. I think it was. And Brandon had two on him, <laughs> and I had two on me. And then we took a fat of laughing. <laughs> how'd, you come, how'd you come? <laughs> I took the teeth out now, one, I got three. <laughs> I've a lovely, I still have it, a certificate by a pig in front of us. <laughs> uh, right, I'll tell you what to do. We're going to take a, an ad break. Are we taking an ad break? <laughs> Go to Bren, right, Bren, you're going to... This is you, you're all up. Right, hey. This well, is your great moment. This is uh, this next one. This is one that you would play all the time. Uh, another one my father did there is called Never Grow Old. Cheers there. Go. It's up there and old. It's there, aye. Right. I have heard of a land on a far away strand. It's a beauty. Built by Jesus on night Where we never shall die It's the land where we'll never grow old Never Troubles and trials 
are over All our sorrows will end All our voices will blend With the loved ones who And it's lovely to hear that song live in this building again. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. That was amazing. Really, really enjoyed. Darren Boot. Darren Boot says, Darren, Come on, Darren, boys, <laughs> sing a tune for the wee loaf of bread. Ah, the coconut uh, loaf. <laughs> Neely McDade says, Great show, lads. Uh, on, say hello to Brendan and Jamie. Brendan's my next door neighbour. Neely. Uh, he says he's well sorry about the noise, but... Really, he's partying every night. Every, every night. <laughs> Declan McTaggart said, great stuff, lad. Bridget McDwyer, yeah, brilliant Jimmy and, and Bridget Brandy. McDwyer, indeed. Thank you very much. Yes. Great way of saying Amory it. McFadden says, well done, lads. Hey, and hey, Danny hey, Meehan. Hey, what hey, was hey. the name of Brian Maxwell's intro tune? That was Brian Barou. Brian Barou. Barou. By yeah, the but, chieftains. Yeah. yeah, it was. Fantastic. Yeah. And do you know this? Once again, we're talking, you know, and, and, and it's, it's, I think it's good to talk about <laughs> things like that. But I remember it starting you to hear it coming on, and you, there was a oh, 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 there was a buzz about it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Listen to Brennan and Jimmy and and Jimmy and Fintown. I uh, remember their dad so well. I worked in my carries and many a good night we had with Brennan. Enjoying your show, great crack them boys. Just like their dad, of course they are. <laughs> and uh, uh, hang on a wee hang on there. Rosie Conley, hello Rosie. I uh, pause. Great to hear the two boys on. Their dad was a real legend. He will never be forgotten around here. And sure, Aidan was like another son from Rosling Conley. There Amazing you go. Stuff. Thank you. Only thing about Murphy Rosling, you can't sing. <laughs> 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 but he can dance. Oh, he can hey, dance. Take oh. off my shoes and home. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we going now, Aidan? I think we'll take a break. After us, come back. Well, Grace, how are you today? I'm good. I've just been down to the Made to Measure Fireplaces showroom in Chrysler. They have an incredible selection of over 40 colours for kitchen worktops. And guess what? For a limited time, they're offering a 40% discount on any electric fire when you purchase a worktop there. 40%? That's an amazing deal, Grace. Absolutely. And trust me, if the discount alone doesn't sway you, their huge selection of fireplaces, stoves, wood pellet burners, beams and stone cladding certainly will. Contact Made to Measure Fireplaces Creeslaw on 074 91 38 365 on Facebook, Instagram and on mtmfireplaces.ie. Hurry, the Furniture Show NI ends this weekend. Your last chance to save with massive discounts from leading brands in furniture and interiors, from sofas, beds, flooring and design. CFC have it all reduced in their biggest sale. Don't miss the Furniture Show NI exclusively at CFC Interiors Camp C Derry. The eagerly anticipated brand new production of the Broadway smash hit musical Sister Act is on its way to the Board Gash Energy Theatre in Dublin. Join Highland Radio as we make way to this unforgettable show on Friday 23rd of February 2024. Your trip includes luxury transfers, bed and breakfast at the Four Star City North Hotel in Dublin, your ticket to the show and a shopping trip to Dublin City Centre. For more information, call Highland Radio on 074 91 25000 or visit Highland Radio Radio.com. It's the Right Price Tiles and Wood Flooring biggest ever sale. Up to 50% off everything in store. All tiles, all wood flooring, all outdoor slabs, cladding and bathware. Everything slashed in price. This sale is not to be missed. Right Price Tiles and Wood Flooring biggest ever half price sale ends Sunday.
Toast your Christmas party this year at Century Complex with delicious food, a superb atmosphere and excellent service. We have something to suit everyone. Make your night extra special by adding a premium cinema experience. To book, call 074-9121976 or visit centurycinemas.ie for more information on Century Complex this Christmas. Yes, welcome back. It's uh, five minutes in front of uh, 10 o'clock. Aidan Murphy's out there getting prepared. I just see him changing there at the moment. What a sight on a Monday night. <laughs> it's good crap. <laughs> We, uh, it is good crack and we've brought back a lot of good memories for a lot of people which is nice to do when you think about it oh, Brandon, no, Jimmy, absolutely. you know what I mean Love it. Uh, it's great right um, as I say you're heading off to London the best of luck um, I'll eat every bit of it Aye. I'll need every bit of it. No, I, I, I These think pubs you'll... are built on luck. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a sample too when you're there just to make sure I'll take the, a piece with you. The, the pipes are working well? <laughs> Come here. No, uh, it's, it's been an absolute joy and a delight having you up here. And, uh, Likewise, thanks for having us. No, Thank you so it's, much. It's, it's a pleasure. And uh, as I say, it's nice when you meet somebody and you know you're going to have a bit of crack <laughs> and that's that's what life's about so thanks indeed listen we're going to wrap it up for myself Paul McDevitt thanks indeed for your company thanks to Joby Fox and thanks to Brennan and Jimmy Maxwell apologies uh, for the artists that we said we would play tonight live because we're just running out of time and uh, uh, do you know this if Aidan didn't turn up we could have just built it on for another <laughs> couple of hours <laughs> <laughs> he's on with the golden year I'll be back on Saturday be, uh, between 12 and 3 Jimmy will be here centre stage on Thursday night playing the very best in Irish music so we're going out with Jamie and Brendan Maxwell and uh, by the way Tanya McCall done a version of this on s- mm-hmm. Friday night and ah uh, unreal a song that was way ahead of itself Ooh. but anyway the house of the rising sun thank you very much lads take it away <laughs>
10 o'clock, good evening, I'm Aidan Delaney. Hamas is threatening to kill one Israeli civilian hostage any time Israel targets people in their homes in Gaza without warning. That's despite one spokesperson from the militant group insisting their fighters wouldn't harm or kill elderly people, women or children. In response, Israeli President Benjamin Netanyahu says the retaliation efforts have